I'm Rahul, and my video is about Hippocrates and his effect on modern-day medicine. Hippocrates is the most early known physician in ancient Greece who was born in 460 BC. He has become known as the father of medicine. He documented all of his patient interactions in his well-known work known as Corpus Hippocratum. Here, Hippocrates and his colleagues documented the many illnesses that were experienced in ancient Greece. After reading these descriptions, scholars have determined that these diseases experienced in ancient Greece were early predecessors to the diseases present today, such as influenza, mumps, and malaria. On the other hand, many diseases such as smallpox and measles were not described in Hippocrates' works, indicating that the ancient Greeks never came in contact with such diseases. Apart from the insight provided through his writings about ancient illness, Hippocrates has also had a tremendous impact on the medicine that is being practiced today. He pioneered the process of prognosis, diagnosis, and treatment almost 2,000 years ago, which is still being used by medical professionals to this day. Hippocrates pioneered a change in medical treatments that relied more on science and naturalistic observation rather than solely on prayer in ancient Greece. He also came up with the idea of preventative medicine. He said the best way to fend off diseases included a healthy lifestyle, which included exercise and getting the correct amount of rest. Hippocrates also coined the term, the four humors. He described four metabolic agents in the human body that are essential to be kept in balance for a healthy lifestyle. The four humors included blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. In his theory, he noted that these humors existed as liquids within the body and identified each humor as associated with a fundamental element, such as air, water, earth, and fire. In this theory, the four humors were expected to always be in equilibrium. Therefore, treatments focused on rebalancing these bodily fluids when in bad health. Bloodletting became a common practice where physicians attempted to rid the body of the excess blood and balance the four humors. Although we now know that this theory is incorrect and the body does not depend on the balance of the four humors, it is still significant because this marks the first naturalistic explanation for the various diseases. Clearly Hippocrates has had its impact on the biological side of medicine, but he also contributed greatly to the ethical side as well. He invites his colleagues as well as other medical practitioners to be very serious about the profession and have high moral standards. Due to his innovative teaching about ethics, the oath that every physician must take before practicing medicine has been named after him known as the Hippocratic Oath. In the oath, physicians pledge to prescribe only beneficial treatment according to their judgment, to refrain from causing harm, and to live exemplary personal and professional lives. All of these values were taught and exemplified by Hippocrates during his time nearly 2,000 years ago, indicating that he truly is the father of modern medicine and has impacted the field greatly. My question is, how would the field of medicine look without the ethics that Hippocrates described and taught?